If I knew for a fact that only one person in my church was going to make the rapture, would my faith declare that it was me? Or if I knew for a fact that only one person in my state, or anywhere for that matter, was going to make it, would I know in my heart that I was that one? Would I fear or would I doubt? Would I wonder who might it be? Or would it even enter my mind that I had a fighting chance of being that one? Or would I, would I say, what about brother so-and-so? Or it must be sister so-and-so because she's so much better than me. Am I living that close to God that I know that I would be that one? That there's not a chance that he would leave me behind because I know in whom I have believed and therefore there's no way he would leave me when he comes. Am I living that close to Jesus? Am I living that close to my Lord? Awfully decent of you to get out of bed. Any idea what time it is? Pretty much. I've got a clock right in front of me. The only thing I was unaware of is that the alarm was broke. That's not all that's broke. I tried starting the car today to go get more cream because we're almost out and the car wouldn't start. Shocked there's coffee at all. It's usually gone by this hour. It's because Dad is usually here to make sure there isn't any, but he's not. Really? Where is he? I don't know. It's been quiet all morning. Well, that's nice for a change. You know, come to think of it, I haven't seen anyone today. What's wrong with that? I don't know, it just seems too quiet. Like how? Well, no one's come over. Dad is gone. Typically, Saturday mornings involve countless interruptions, but today there's nothing. Almost as if no one's even on the street. Good. Maybe we'll actually get some peace and quiet this morning. They could all fall off the face of the earth for a whole week, and I wouldn't even care. Wow. Ugh. 
Okay, that was really weird. I didn't mean what I said, by the way. What did you say? Never mind. Maybe we should go check on everybody else or something and see if they know where Dad is? Yeah, maybe everyone went somewhere? He wouldn't do that without us. Why not? Because we're the life of the party. Maybe they wanted some peace and quiet. Ouch. This is a little weird. No one? No one. Me either. Maybe it's a joke? But the whole street? Even Mrs. Mendelbright is gone and she doesn't go anywhere. Well, Ma'am Frisbee's gone too. And Erickson's. So, so what do we do? Call them? Okay, this is really weirding me out. Should we call the police? And what are you gonna tell them? The rapture's taking place? <laughs> I mean, stop eating. I can't help it. I eat when I'm nervous. There's no need to be nervous. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for all of this. Like what? The rapture. Wait! I don't know, okay? My mind's running away with me. It just seems so strange. Everyone's gone. Their phones, their cars, everything is left behind. And we're left behind. No. No, we're not. It's just that the... <sighs> Lauren, I don't know. Maybe we're overreacting, okay? Yeah. Besides, even if this was a rapture, that wouldn't explain what happened to Dad. <laughs> it has to be a joke, okay? They probably took a bus, planned this whole thing as a prank. Well, let me tell you, I don't have to put up with it. That's really mean. Why would they do that to us? Because they're jerks. That's why. And you know what? I have a mind to suggest that we let their little plan backfire on them. We pack our bags and we leave our own selves. And what? Hitchhike? The cars won't start. I'd rather rough it and take the chance and sit here and do nothing while they're probably laughing at us. You know what? You're right. You wanna go? Yes. I can't believe it. After all we do around here, we cook, we do the laundry, we do the shopping, we clean dad's room. <gasps> the nerve. I'll say. Nope, we're getting out. Blowing this place and they can have it. They can all come back from their little joke and we'll be gone. Then they'll be the ones looking for us. But you know what? The more I think about it, where are we going? Can you imagine two young blondes walking down the dark streets of Phoenix, hitchhiking? And hitchhiking to where? Where are we going, Lauren? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Two nitwits walking in the dark. We might as well just throw ourselves at the wolves. I cannot believe that even entered my mind. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what am I thinking? Who said anything about hitchhiking? We have money. We'll take the bus. We can go online, right? Take a bus, take a taxi to the bus station, and we're set. We'll be out of the state before night, which is most likely when they'll be back. Then they can be the ones to worry. But you know what? I think I'm maxed out on my credit card. Do you have anything on your debit? Broke. See? Exactly. What are we going to get a bus with? Oh, <laughs> looks. We can't go anywhere. We're stuck here. Stuck here. But wait! Just a minute. You know what? If we have to, I'd rather walk the streets than give them the satisfaction of thinking that we fell for their ridiculous and heartless joke. I don't have to put up with it, and I won't. I think we should go. That's it! I pack and then I unpack. You want to walk and then we don't walk. You want to take the bus and then we don't take the bus. I don't even care anymore. I would just be happy if you would just make up your mind. I don't, I don't 
understand it. This is a joke. Then they got me. I just want to relax and, and forget about it for a while. What if this is the rapture? Breen, stop! My nerves can't handle it anymore. I don't understand it, Breen. I've lived right. I've done right. Ever since Eli found me and he brought me home, I've, I've really tried to do the right thing. I thought all was well. I mean, I'm not perfect. Of course I'm not perfect. I mean, nobody's perfect, right? What are we gonna do now, Breen? What if we have been left behind? What then? Am I gonna have to go through the tribulation? Is that what this means? If you're trying to get drunk, that's sparkling cider, not alcoholic. both need some sleep. Are you going to sleep? Absolutely not. I'm telling you, Breen. I don't know how much more freaky I can take. This is too much. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I just want to know what's going on. And apparently I'm alone. Breen? Sabrina? Breen? Brina! This is not happening. This is pretty cute. Well, counting my blessings, I don't have to see your mud mask anymore. Where's the breaker box? Why would you ask me that? I don't know anything about that stuff. Okay, well, let's move together so we don't get separated. Good idea. I'm trying to feel for the wall. Oh, ew. I just put my hand in a damp opening. <laughs> would you get out of my way? How am I supposed to get out of your way? I can't even see my hand if it was in front of my face. What is that noise? Something's over there. Don't be silly. It's just the house settling, that's all. Anybody over there? Don't ask them! Why not? They might answer you! <sighs> I don't know, Lauren. Maybe that cider did have some alcohol in it. It is apparent that you enjoy seeing me in distress. There it is again. What is it? You know what I think? I think it's roaches. 
I'm learning to hate you. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's Roaches, all right. And the biggest one's got asthma. Oh, thank goodness. The noise is gone, too. Sabrina? Sabrina? Bree? Sabrina! Sabrina! Sabrina Bravo! Sabrina? You didn't listen before. Why would you listen now? What do you mean? You knew the truth. You heard the voice. You've known in your heart what to do. I do, and I believe it. What difference does that make if you don't accept it? I have accepted it. Don't kid yourself. God did everything he could possibly do to get you to obey that voice. I listen to it every day. But you didn't take heed to it. You think the voice is there to tickle your ears? Blessed is she who hears and does. You listen to it every day. Big deal, you gotta do it. He didn't speak just to hear himself speak. He said it so we could do it. Do it, do it. Sabrina. I love you. Are uh, you good? No. But God is. Kid, you're doing that on purpose, I know it, and I'm sick of it! I'm just trying to practice my aim, Mr. Miller. No thanks, James. No thanks. I'm good, James. I had a big breakfast. And where are you going to put all this junk? Open your mouth and I'll show you. You know, you got a lot of nerve talking to me that way, Gribble. Yeah, I got a lot of nerves because you're getting on them all the time. You're one to talk. And next time, let me load the truck. You load Still cut like things are back to normal. Dear God. 
Don't ever let me take this message for granted. Help me to be a doer of your word and not just a listener. Help me to know that if only one person makes it in the rapture, I know it'll be me. I'm yours, Lord. Save me. I could have gotten twice the amount of furniture. In What's he doing? <laughs> just right. watching the neighbors. <laughs> now I understand. See Why? If you just told me that I, the first I find them fascinating. <laughs> You need some excitement in your life. Oh no, the dream I just had? All the excitement I will ever need. Besides, I just find them entertaining. <laughs> this is the Gape Road. All the entertainment you ever need. Yeah, they are pretty entertaining. <laughs>